Greetings everybody, this is Thungon, and I am back recording after like two years from the last time I actually recorded my voice, and almost a year since the last video uploaded. Um, it's been so long that actually the same computer, I'm still on the same computer, but my recording software that I was on a different computer, that's how long it's been, and yeah, it's kind of been way too long. Um, I'll get into the reasons why in a second, and where my channel is going in a second, but uh, first I just want to say there's no regrets, um, no, I needed the break uh, for all the reasons I'm going to state and I'm refreshed and better now. Um, I re recorded this video before, it ended up being 40 minutes long, very rambling, so I'm going to make this way shorter, way way shorter, but in the meantime I'm in my single player world that I have not stopped playing in the past two years and it received a lot of updates. Not in this area, I'm studying in this area because it's familiar. Uh, there's a few people that probably still remember it, uh, but I'm just running around it with the world in the background. I'll explain that in another video. So where I've been, where I've been, what happened to me, why did I stop? Um, this will be, I mainly have four reasons written down here. Um, f that I picked up from the 40 minute version of this video that's uh, deleted. Uh, so the first reason is personal issues. Uh, I do not want to get into details about who, because uh, that's just mean and that's just disrespectful, but uh, close friends of mine that I trusted and that like, I was vulnerable with and I sh shared my flaws and um, my character deficiencies and all that sort of stuff that every human has, right? Every human has things to work on. And it's a very important to actually share those things with your closest friends, I feel. If you don't share them, if you keep them bottled up, it will just eat you inside, so you have to share them. So that's what I did with my closest friends at the time, and they kind of just used it against me. <laughs> They turned my trust against me, they used my flaws to tear me down, and it was, it just felt brutal, and I it sp <laughs> spent a long time recovering from that, like, um, trusting a few others that, like, were reliable, like, like, when I was at my lowest, they were actually there in some ways, and uh, moving on in re life and all that. But if somebody trusts you, uh, respect respect them like fully, please. Uh, it's because and respect like the power you have over their lives, and don't be careless with it either. Uh, perhaps what they did, I don't think what they did was necessarily vicious, but it did. It wasn't fun. So yeah, respect the power that you have when friends trust you, and um, just be kind to your fellow people. I guess, especially especially the people that think that uh, you're their friend. Um, so anyways, that's the thickest and the, probably the most real, the biggest reason why I left. The rest are more, I uh, smaller in comparison. And, well, let's, why not, let's get to it then. Um, point two, the reason, the second reason why I left was because of Mojang. Um, uh, Mojang were the, are the creators of Minecraft and I want to start with a little bit dis of a disclaimer and say, A, I think they're awesome people. I'm not attacking their characters, I'm not attacking who they are, or like things they said, or anything like that. I think they're pretty cool people. And B, I think the game as it is, Minecraft as it is, is pretty awesome. Um, my issue with Mojang is that, not that they didn't do enough, or they did bad things, it's, well, actually, I spoiled it. It, I, my issue with Minecraft is, and what Mojang's done with the game, is that they 
didn't do enough. And I said that before, but they don't have enough. Like the word I used in the 40-minute video was vision, and it feels like they don't know enough about the game that they wanted a kids game out of this game and that's what they got in like when Minecraft dropped from age 21 to um, like age 12 now maybe for, for like average age of players playing the game um, and it feels like they don't have enough vision and by vision I mean seeing a sandbox within the sandbox seeing more than just placing and breaking blocks and um, killing off mobs and stuff like that this is not so touch it is. Um and I don't know, I, I wish uh like being able to control I had like a I could rant on this for ages, but like controlling train, controlling difficulty more than just three buttons, controlling Oh, that's a lot of gold, isn't it? Controlling all sorts of stuff like that that you can't in the game right now and the developers don't seem to want to pay attention they don't seem to want to pay attention to the youtubers they didn't they didn't want to seem to pay attention to the map makers they definitely are anti pvp i don't saying they're like like the, they're against what pvpers have to say um and of course i was a uh, huge in the pvp so that was kind of an issue uh recently they've turned that around a little bit but i'll get that to that in a second um so the third reason is what I have listed here as the PvP divide. Um, the player versus player community, the Minecraft PvP communities, um, the combat games, kind of into the divide. So I have I made it this example where imagine like a spectrum of PvP games, and on this end you have Spleef and Sheep Herding and highly technical mini games where you have no mobs to fight, no hunger, no food to satisfy. Um, it could be apps even be like one hit KOs and instant respawns with like a harsh point system, like just a raw point system. And on this end, you have ultra hardcore, um, where you have one life, a billion mobs, no regenerating hearts, hunger is going on, you're crazy. Um, you start from scratch in an empty world, and you're finding like 50 others. So that's a, like, that's like a huge shift, right? We have everything in between from like Race to Wolf, just more on the difficult end, and um, well, I only have four here, and like maybe like OCT maps where it's in the middle, and maybe some some other stuff up in this end, right? So I feel like Mojang has done with some of their balance and combat changes has done this, and now this is what PVP looks like now. You either have these high, high fast paced games or these really slow paced games and everything in between became unsupported and it became very difficult to pull off in the same way if possible at all and either the maps in these old games have to either go towards this end or towards this end and they can't remain where they were and like if Mojang instead of having like easy normal hard or sprinting cost a billion food or no food um, if they had like spectrums for all those things, like sprinting, a game rule, like a game rule, sprinting, zero to a hundred, where zero is like normal, and that's what everybody was in, and a hundred is sprinting takes no food, and then everything in between is like sprint, like sprinting fifty will be sprinting in one, like release one point five or something like that. If they had the spectrum like that to actually fulfill everybody's, like all those middle game modes too, instead of like cutting them out and not supporting them anymore, that would be really nice, wouldn't it? That's what I, that's what I feel is what happened to PvP, and I was I was huge in the PvP, especially the middle ones. Oh, are you kidding me? Another one? I hate them spawning on the tracks. But that was changed in 1.9 coming up. Uh, so the fourth is life distractions. Um, fourth reason I left and s or slowed down or stopped is life distraction. I graduated. I have a new job. I was working on my career. Um, I moved. Um, as well as hobby distractions. So my hobbies slightly changed when Minecraft disappeared. I went into TF2. I joined the TF2 competitive team. 
instead of playing Dota casually. Um, as casually as you can play Dota. Um, so yeah, all of those distractions too. So, part two, what will happen on this channel going forward? Instead of looking back now, we're looking forward. So the first thing I want to do, I want to kind of turn around is I want to really get into map reviews. Ma Minecraft map making has kind of um, there's a lot it's not stagnated it's not like died out entirely but it's changed in different ways and I not and different like concepts I feel like a lot of the communities missing in map design have just vanished or become unimportant and I want to bring those important things back so like if, if I want to be a like review maps, like review adventure maps and whatnot, and I want to really focus on things like story. For instance, story, the actual plot of a adventure mode map or adventure map, just seems to be vanished. Like a lot of maps nowadays are like Portal, uh, with no story. Like Portal is has a great game and it's an amazing story and it's like a puzzle room to room progression thing, but Minecraft maps mimic the room to room progression puzzle thing but forget all of the story and that happens with a lot of genres like that um, and I want to kind of refocus on that a bit more and review maps based on all those categories and another category that I always felt was lacking not just vanished but always was lacking was aesthetics and I feel as though people undervalue aesthetics or like claim things like functional reform or something like that no, form is very, very important. And if the function's great, but the form is ugly, the map does not succeed. Like, to me at least. And, um, like, I would say form is like 30% of the map. And, like, in American schools, if you get 100% and you lose 30%, you get 70, right? And 70 is a C. It's barely passing. Barely. Uh, and if you consider the fact that function is not going to be perfect um, and so it enters like 69% categories if you're lacking a lot of form and a little bit of function it's starting to be a failure like it's not a good map it's not a good product um, especially when you're trying to pr produce something uh, a produce an entertain entertainment source a map a custom map you need form and I feel like people miss that entirely or praise function too much and I, that was like a thing I would review more or focus more on too. Um, another thing that will be coming to this channel, second, will be more tours. Uh, this is my single player world, kind of roaming around on different bases. You saw my 1.8, or this is my 1.8 base and for the future and you saw my 1.6 base with the um, iron farm and the huge portal gold farm. Um, so I want to kind of tour this world more and kind of have like ETHO videos in some senses, but more rare and more tory in this process. And also have little rants on this world where I just kind of rant about a topic while just running around this world like this. Um, third, third, what I kind of want to bring back, this is only a potential. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this or not, but time lapses. Um, my faint, my uh, most viewed videos are sky grid time lapse and sky block time lapse, and that's where I play sky grid and sky block at four times speed. Remove the audio and commentary, and add some electric electronic music on it on top of it, and you can see all of my progress in a very harsh survival setting, like you would see kind of the um, the raw end of the PvP spectrum. Um, except for survival, like the raw end is a survival spectrum. Uh, just speed that up times four, add some music, and they're actually my most popular videos. And speaking of it, Sky Grid time lapse. If somebody can explain why that video jumped from about 5,000 views to 15,000 views in the past two months, I would really love to know why, because that's just crazy to me, and it blows my mind. Um, how many views that has gotten in such a short time and I don't don't know the source so if, if you came to this channel and you're new to this channel from that uh, please tell me why because uh, I would love to know and the fourth thing is what will be more of a possibility than the others there's not supposed to be spiders in there 
at all. This is a witch farm. Why are there spiders? Oh dear. And it's prepared for 1.9. It's 1.9. We moved shifting floors, so it's 1.9 friendly with the pistons and the water streams. But it's definitely not supposed to have spiders in there. Um. So yeah, the fourth series I want to bring is the Throwback Thursday series. That was my most recent videos, and I have a ton of footage, a ton of back like um, backlogged footage from random PvP events, random uh, this random footage from like years and years and years ago that I've never really planned to upload, and I didn't at the time. And now I kind of show show them like I did a Race for Wool game. From like release 1.2 with some really 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 old names even for a video from last year on uh, their really old names and a really old map um, and I was brand new to the map and it was it's kind of like a nostalgia trip throwback Thursdays on nostalgia trip so I'm kind of want to bring that back so yeah that's in summary that's overall what's been happening uh, I left because of personal issues where my trust is kind of used against me. I left because Mojang kind of took, didn't take the game far enough. They took it to a kid's game and that's about it. And I think it could have been a lot more. Uh, I left because PvP became divided into two extremes. You could either play an amplified crazy sort of a PvP, sort of really hostile situ situations or super flat. Uh, really plain, maybe not even direct combat against each other, but more like spleef where it's just easier minigame sort of stuff. And the fourth is distractions in life, job, moving, new job, new moving, graduation, different hobbies and different games. And what will happen are map reviews, single player tours and rants, uh, maybe on uh, multiplayer world, worlds too, like uh, Ground Fox Exile. Uh, time lapses might come back, might and maybe a different map, I'm not sure yet. And Throwback Thursdays will probably be get, uh, get a return to clear out some backlog videos I have to sort out. So thanks for watching. I'm actually feeling a lot better now uh, in the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of my life that is a roller coaster. Um, I was really down for a while, but like what goes down has to come up eventually, right? And it did for me, and it's coming up slowly but steadily. And uh, I appreciate you watching this far. I appreciate you uh, sticking around for this channel despite the long break. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.